Hey, what's up guys? It's Kyle with Backcountry ADB Moto. And in this short episode, I'm gonna show you how you can have the best cup of coffee you've ever had while sitting around the campfire on your next motorcycle adventure. Let's get into it. So I hate to admit it, but I'm kind of a coffee snob. When you're out camping on your adventures, nothing is better than sitting around the fire, having a nice hot cup of coffee, especially in the morning when you wake up at sunrise. And I'm not talking that muddy water type of coffee that you used to have back in the day or when you were in the military like I did. It was garbage. Didn't know any better back then, right? But now that I've lived a while, I know that there are actually really good cups of coffee that you can have while out in the backcountry. There are some really efficient ways to make a cup of coffee, some better than others. Instant coffee, eh, it's good. There's some better than others, like I said. Black Rifle Coffee actually makes one of the best instant coffees that I've ever had, and I've always carried that as a backup in my bag. But a lot of times when I ride, I like to have something like a pour over or maybe even a French press, but the problem with those is they're so messy. Something like this X-Brew made by Sea to Summit. I've done a video on this in the past. This is great. You can take your cup, you can lay it over, you put your coffee in there and you literally just pour hot water over it. Just like a normal pour over, it'll pour through and you have a great tasting cup of coffee. It's got a little screen in here. The problem with this is, again, it can be really messy. It's hard to clean this screen out. And unless you have a good water source, it's hard to get this clean to put it away before you pack up and go to your next destination. So another option that I've used in the past is the Stanley coffee press and it's great. Um, it's got this insert that comes out. So you do have a pot that you can use for cooking. So then when you do want to make coffee, you can fill it with water, put your coffee in, and then just use it as a normal press, press it down, pour it, and you're good to go. I really don't like a lot of cleanup when I'm out on my adventure, just because it takes time. And again, you don't want to put wet, messy things away back into your panniers before you take off again. Now, about six months ago, I found these. These are made by Wildland Coffee Company. And basically what they are, are coffee that are inside of tea bags. I know that sounds a little crazy, but think about the simplicity of it. You've got your coffee in a tea bag. You put the tea bag in hot water. You let it seat for about five to eight minutes. And once it's done, you have a nice fresh cup of coffee. So one of the best thing about these besides the taste is the cleanup. There's virtually none. The coffee and the tea bag are 100% compostable. So you can feel good about that. These coffees come in a medium, a dark roast, and an extra dark roast. So let me open one of these up and I'll show you how easy it is. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Sea to Summit Cool Grip X mug. This is one of my favorite mugs. It's collapsible and then it has these little rings around the sides here. And what this does is it helps you when you're holding the silicone, it doesn't allow you to actually hold the hot liquid so it's cool on your hands. Just gonna set up my MSR wind burner here real quick. We'll boil some water and get this going. These wind jammers are really nice. They're not, they don't boil water as fast as a jet boil, but only a few seconds difference and they're virtually windproof. I really like the dark roast, so we'll go with that. Package opens very easily. It's kind of a foil style package. And then you have your tea bag. So this is actual coffee in here. It's not instant coffee or anything like that. I mean, the aroma right now is amazing. Just simply peel this off, set it down in there just like a tea bag. I like to get my water just below boiling because you don't want to boil your coffee. Ideal temperature is somewhere around 190 degrees. And then simply just pour it over the tea bag. Just want to stir that up a little bit. And again, like I said, let it steep for about five to eight minutes, depending on how strong you like your coffee. Look at the steam coming off of that. Looking all nice. Oh, man, that is a good cup of coffee, especially if you're sitting around the fire in the morning on your adventures. It doesn't get much better than that. Guys, if you made it this long through the video, I appreciate that. I want to reward you for that. Down below in the description, there is a link to the BAM website. Not only can you pick up this coffee, but you can pick up anything else there on the website. And also, make sure and use the discount code down below for 15% off your entire purchase. Again, not just for the coffee, but for anything else you want to add to your cart. Guys, Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out this one right here and we'll see you in the next one.